Hey guys, welcome. So if you are watching this video, I believe you want to get your first AWS certification. The main purpose of this particular video is to tell you how should you be prepared for the exam. If you are a developer, student, architect, someone who has interest on software engineering, you already know that cloud computing is one of the hot topic in the software industry. The knowledge about cloud is one of the key areas today industries are looking from their employees. So if you have a certification that will really boost your confidence level so high that you are neither hesitant nor afraid of designing cloud architectures for your customers. Now AWS is one of the major cloud providers. AWS CSA or Certified Solution Architect Associate Certification is one of the good place to start if you want to dive deep into cloud computing with AWS Cloud Platform. So today's video, I will show you how you could prepare for the exam and what does the exam require from you and what domains the exam questions from you and also what sort of questions that you will face during the exam. So let's get started. Now in AWS, there are multiple certifications available. You can start off with the cloud practitioner. For that, AWS recommends six months of fundamental cloud knowledge and some industry knowledge. The certification that we are targeting today is at the associate pillar. So it is AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate Examination. And you can see there are like two other certification under this pillar, one of which is the developer and SysOp Administrator. Once you have passed the Certified Solution Architect Associate Examination, you can easily pass the developer as well. And with extra bit of networking knowledge, you can pass the SysOps Administrator exam as well. So you can start off with any of these certification and easily pass the other two examination with a minimum effort. And here's the recommended experience that AWS expect from someone who's facing this exam. One year of experience in solving problems and implementing solutions using AWS Cloud. So you need to have some experience in problem solving and also implementing solution in AWS Cloud. And next pillar is the professional pillar. So for this pillar, you need to have at least two years of comprehensive experience in designing and architecting solution troubleshooting using the AWS Cloud. So it's always recommended to you know, obtain an associate certification and have some more experience on that and then move on to professional experience so you will be fully ready for that. So there are two examinations. The first one is Solution Architect Professional Examination and DevOps Engineer Examination. And apart from these three main pillars, you have some specialty exams as well. You can have a specialty certification on advanced networking and big data and security. And AWS recommend two to five years of deep technical experience in the associated domain. Now that you have the basic understanding about the certifications, let's dive into our Certified Solution Architect Associate Examination information. So AWS CSA Associate Exams, it basically validates your ability to define a solution using architectural design principle based on your customer's requirements. Basically, once you get the customer requirement, you should be able to design a proper architectural design that cater for those requirements. And then you should also be able to provide implementation guidance based on the best practices that is applicable for that particular organization throughout the lifetime of the project. So these are the two main things that this exam validates. So if you obtain this certification, you are well capable of designing the proper architecture based on the customer requirements and provide the implementation guide according to the best practices. So let's move on to the exam questions. So there are two types of exam questions here, guys. The first one is multiple choice. So that means basically there's only one correct answer and you have to choose it from the rest of the answers. Those are basically some distractors. But remember, guys, Although other three are incorrect answers, those are also plausible responses. So that means they looks like a right answer, but it is not. So if you don't have the proper understanding about the theoretical aspects and the practical exposure, you will fall into the trap and choose an incorrect answer. And the second type is multiple responses. And in the earlier one, there was only one correct response, but here you have two correct responses. And there are five options to choose those two answers from. Again, the rest of the answers looks correct, but you should have the solid understanding to choose the right answers. And here's the exam content. Now, this exam 
it questions on these five domains. First domain is design resilient architectures. And that counts for 34% of the questions that you find in the exam. And then define performant architectures, which count for 24% of the questions. And domain three, specify security applications and architectures. So that covers about 26% of the questions. And, and domain four, design cost optimized architectures will count for 10% of the questions. And finally, domain five, which is define operationally excellent architectures will count for 6% of the questions. So altogether, it will add up to 100%. Now, if you have some knowledge about AWS and read some white papers, you should recall that these five domains are coming from the white paper, which is called AWS Well-Architected Framework. So in the AWS Well-Architected Framework white paper, they have defined five pillars that you must concern when building solution with AWS. So as you might have already guessed, it's a must to read that particular white paper and understand really well before facing this exam. Now let's go into each of these domains and see what are the areas the examination is really testing you on. So I'm on the design and resilient architecture, which is our domain one. So in this domain, it will test you on how to choose reliable and resilient storage when you are designing a resilient architecture. And how do you design decouple mechanisms using different AWS services and make sure your architecture is quite decoupled and you can replace any component with minimum effect to the other components. And also it will test your knowledge on how to design a multi-tier solution. So you know the best practices in designing architectures with web servers, application servers and databases, etc. And also it will test your ability to design highly available and fault tolerant architectures. You should know that high availability and fault tolerance are two different concepts and how do you design your architectures for each of these requirements. Moving on to the second domain, it is defining performant architectures. So you should know how to select your storage and databases having the performance in mind. And also how can you apply caching to improve performance at your database level, at your API level, or maybe at your web server level. You should know how to apply caching on all these layers. And also you should know how to design scalable and elastic solutions. Domain three is more into the security of your applications and the architecture. Security is one of the major areas that you will be questioned at the exam. You should know how to secure application layers by using security group, NACL, private subnet, etc. And then how to secure data at rest like the database, the encryption, SSL, etc. And also you should know how to define your network infrastructure in a secure manner inside a VPC. So this is a quite important domain. And domain four is about how to design for cost optimization. You should know how to choose the cost optimized storage and cost optimized compute. You should know about serverless computing, serverless architecture, and in which way the serverless computing help to prevent idle compute time in order to lower the cost of your application. Domain five is about designing operationally excellent applications. Now these are the five main domains and the areas that you will be tested upon guys. Now moving on to the recommended AWS knowledge for this exam. As I previously mentioned, AWS recommend one years of hands-on experience in designing and implementing solutions. As you can see, a lot of emphasis on hands-on experience, you know, hands-on experience using compute, networking storage, and hands-on experience with AWS development, management services. So much hands-on experience is required for this exam. Apart from that, you should know about the AWS global infrastructure, about the regions, availability zone, edge locations, etc. And also the network technology, especially the VPC inside out knowledge and also the security features that is available to you in AWS platform to secure your applications. Now, how should you prepare? First and foremost, you should have an in-depth knowledge about these domains. Otherwise, when you are facing the exam, you will be totally messed up with the answers that they are given for a question, because as I've mentioned, those are plausible answers. If you don't have the right in-depth knowledge, you will fall into their traps. And especially, you should read the white papers. Now, this is one of the recommended white papers, Architecting for the Cloud. So start reading this one. So I will share all the links below. And there are 
list of white papers under this well architected web page let me in fact show you guys now here's the AWS well architected page and if you scroll a little bit down you should see there are multiple white papers available for you to read the operational excellence if you go into the white paper you can download it in PDF format and the security reliability performance efficiency and cost optimization now it's a must to read these white papers as the domains are more or less corresponding to these white papers now apart from that guys if you go to www.aws.training hit enter and you will go into this page so in this page AWS will offer you some free digital training now if you scroll a little bit down you can go and click here browse courses you have to sign in with your AWS account and once you are signed in it will show you some digital training courses now I want you to click on skill level here and select certification so that will filter down the result into these three courses and here please go through this one exam readiness AWS certified solution architect associate digital course click on that that will give you a good overview about the domains that we just mentioned and what are the things that you will be tested at your exam so please watch these videos guys that's are really beneficial so apart from that how can this channel help you in passing the exam now let me go into my channel in my channel I have created few playlists go to the playlist here so in the playlist I have a separate playlist for AWS CSA associate examination if I go to the full playlist I have started a course to help you obtain the knowledge that is required for the exam and pass the exam so you can see I have started with what is cloud computing from the very basic right you can follow along with the part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 part 5 and so on and I'll be adding more videos to this on every week so this is one of the places that you can start and also guys as you have seen in the recommended knowledge AWS has really stressed on the hands-on experience so in my channel in almost all these playlists will give you some really good hands-on experience on different use cases for example if you want to learn about serverless applications now these videos will give you the full guidance on how to develop your serverless application from the ground up you will know how to host your serverless applications and set up caching and integrating it with a backend etc and the most important playlist I believe is the building an e-commerce website playlist so in this playlist I have structured this videos in a way that you are given a customer requirements to building up an e-commerce website I started here from the requirement gathering phase to choosing the services to designing your project architecture and gradually implementing this architecture so this will give you a really good understanding about how to take different decisions based on these best practices that is suggested by AWS white papers so I highly recommend this one and finally guys it's all about practice practice and practice I can't stress enough how much you need your practical exposure and also you should really read the documentation of major services like EC2, S3, EBS etc and one final note before I end this video please 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 do not read exam dumps and go to the exam guys AWS is constantly changing their examination questions and in fact this is a new exam and the questions are quite tricky so if you don't have the in-depth knowledge I'm quite sure you won't pass this exam so please do not look for exam dumps which will waste your time and waste your money finally you will be disappointed all right guys I think this is what I want to cover and I hope this video has been beneficial to you guys so if you like these videos and if you like the content please do subscribe to my channel guys I really appreciate it and thank you very much and I'll see you in another video